you sure the dogs will be okay? Honey, you know there's no room where we're moving. The pound will find someone to adopt them. Let's go. I got a snowman! First dibs on the Christmas hat. Hey, I wanted the hat. Try the boxes. There's more stuff in there. Hey, everybody. Check it out. <laughs> you look like Santa Paws, big brother. Cool. This hat is history. Hold it down, everybody. I'm trying to get some shut-eye. Snoozer, you've been sleeping all morning. Check this stuff out. Hey, what's in there? Do I smell Christmas cookies? Moldy year old cookie decoration scarf. Hard as a rock. Sounds good to me, brother. Of course, most food does. You should try some of this paper scarf. Tastes like chicken. Are those sprinkles? I love sprinkles. Hey, you guys. Does anybody have to go? Because I do. And you know I don't like to go alone. I think this mistletoe needs its toes trimmed. Rory, you're my big brother. You're supposed to help me. In a minute, Tinkle. I'm telling Mom. Tinkle, you're big enough to go by yourself now. Just use the doggy door. I know, but... You can do it, honey. And please, ask Rory to come here. I need to talk to him. Okay. Rory! Oh, no. Mom, I was going to help her. I just wanted to play for one more minute. This isn't about that, Rory. I have some serious news. Our masters have left us. What? I knew they were having money problems. I guess they just couldn't afford the house anymore. But I never thought they'd abandon us like this. They left us here? Alone? So I need your help, Rory. You are the oldest. Only by 18 seconds. That doesn't matter. That makes you the leader. I'm going to see if I can get help. I want you to take care of your brothers and sisters. Please play quietly. No roughhousing. Can you do that? Yes, Mom. Everything's gonna be okay, right? I'm sure it will, if we all stay together as a family. Now go on. Okay, Mom. Hey, you guys. I got an idea. Yeah, let's play house. I get to be the baby. You are the baby. The carpet again! This is even better. Let's play a game. Yeah, that sounds good. What do you want to play? How about the silent treatment? Soon as somebody makes a sound, they're out. Got it, I'm in. Okay. Game starts now. <sighs> this is making me sleepy. This is boring. I quit. Maybe there's some crumbs left on the kitchen floor. Hey, a bagel chip! I've got a game. Our masters aren't here, and Mom's outside, so let's play... Dog tag! Huh? What? Dog tag? I'm in! No, wait! I don't think that's a good idea. Hey, Scarf, guess what? What? We're gonna play dog tag. Cool! Guess what else? What? You're it! No way! How come I always have to... Hey! Come back here! Hey, you guys! Wait for me! No, wait! We're supposed to be quiet! Wait! Scarf, you can't catch me! Come on! Oh, uh -uh. I think they're coming! Come on! 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 your jump whoops stop we're not supposed to wait a minute mom said to play quietly we're not oh 
brother. If, if I can just dig under this wall. Mr. and Mrs. Cooper, it's Jeff Richmond again from Santa Rita City Bank. Look, I, I, I'm sorry. We just can't give you any more time. Your house has been in foreclosure for six months. You have to leave. I'm just in time for Christmas. Hey! Hey, I think somebody's here. Where are you guys? Are you under the bed again? One, two, three. Jeff! Geronimo! Hey! Wait, wait, wait. If you're all here, who's it? You, you are! are. Well, looks like they already left. Makes things a little easier. Jeff, please tell Mr. Garvey that the Cooper house is posted. Yeah? Oh, it looks like they already vacated. I think they left their dog behind. Wait! My children are here, too! Can you call Animal Control? No, 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 no Tiffany, I, I don't want to be responsible for a dog dying at Christmas time, either. I... Okay, call them, then. No! Don't leave us! <laughs> Merry Christmas to all. Hey, where'd Rory go? Let's check down here. No hiding in the toilet again, Roar. I hear Mom. We better go see what she wants. Yeah, maybe we should stop. Hey, Rory, where are you? Are you in here? Ooh. What was that? again. Rory, are you here? Are you okay? I am. Thank goodness. The ghost of Christmas past. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. Hey, wait. It, it's only me. Hey, hey, wait. No fair. I'm stuck in this thing. Quick, hide in the garage. tell you something. Mom, is that you? I'm right here. What's going on? Why is this door closed? Rory, what happened here? Well, uh, see, first we were playing dog tag. Dog tag? After I told you not to rough house? Yeah, and well, then I was the ghost of Christmas past, and I, I got caught in a shirt, and I bumped into the boxes, and the boxes kind of fell over, and... Oh, Rory, what have you done? Hello? Anyone home? The dog rescue guys. Yes, we're right here. Uh, now I can hear it, but the door's locked. We're in bed. Mom? Mom! Look, there's got to be a way to get out of here. Wait. Wait, I've got an idea. Nothing. 
hate cashiers. Oh, hey. I left you all alone. It's all your fault, Rory. No, I tried to... Yeah, if you hadn't scared us, this never would have happened. I thought you were the responsible one. The one who was supposed to look after us. But I was just... Now? Now what do we do? Start barking. I don't hear anything. I think it's disconnected. Are you sure? Listen hard. Wait, I do hear something. Yeah, me too. But it's not coming from the phone. It's coming from downstairs. That's either a really loud mouse or... Or somebody's here. Come on. Someone's breaking into our house. It's a kid. You think he brought any food? Shh. The coast is clear. I'll open the door. Go open the back door, Pibay from the new key. Okay. Hey, I found these on the front door. What is it? Uh, notice of eviction and a note from the animal shelter saying that they picked up their dog. Hey, it looks like the owner split. And a big TV back there. How awesome is this? An abandoned house, couches, and a TV just waiting for us. And this paper says nobody's coming around until after New Year's. Yeah. You struck it rich, gentlemen. We've got the official Christmas vacation out of the ghost game. Oh, yeah! I don't think I trust these guys. Whoa! Hey! First things first. Biff! Is our new crew ready? Yes, blindfolded and standby, sir. Bring him in. Guys, get the shades. Recruit, you have indicated your desire to join the ghost game. A radically super bad gang dedicated to hanging out, scoring free stuff, and mostly having awesome good times. State your name. Oliver Richmond. What? Olive Lichmond? Richmond, Oliver. No, I like Olive better. Fits you. Olive, do you solemnly swear to be loyal to the ghosts 
to make good times your high school and follow the orders of your superiors, which is all of us, at all times? Okay. I mean, I do. Repeat after me. The gang comes first, no matter what. The gang comes first, no matter what. Good. Remove his blindfold. You're now an official member of the gang, and it's permanent, till death do you part. Got it? Charlie, give him the initiation wedgie. Wait, what? It's time to party! Please, <laughs> <laughs> grab the snacks. Get back here, Charlie! Doesn't seem so bad. Come on, let's follow them. Charlie, Charlie, get the Xbox hooked up. I want to hear the excuses you guys told your parents and why you're not coming home tonight. They think I'm staying over at Scooter's. And what if they called to check? I gave them Scooter's cell phone. Okay, let's try it. Hello, this is the Cameron residence, James Cameron speaking. My dad's name is Henry Dork. Oh, right. Henry Cameron speaking. Yes, Mr. Cameron, this is Barbara Applegate, Charlie's mom. Why, yes, Barbara, you're sounding very awesome tonight. Dads, don't say awesome, idiot. I was just calling to see how Charlie was doing. Why, Charlie's just fine, Barbara. In fact, he and Scooter are upstairs watching Sesame Street this very minute. Sesame Street? What are we, like five? All right, not bad. What about you, Scoot? My parents think I'm at my grandpa Norton's. He's so deaf he doesn't even hear the phone ring. Biff? I told my mom I went on a Christmas ski trip with the scout troop. Remember, you forged your name on all the permission papers? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I'm a genius. What about you, little Olive? What do your parents think you are tonight? It doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? One of us gets caught and it messes it up for everybody. I mean, they don't really pay attention to what I do. What if they call you? I'll just tell them I'm staying out of friends. They never call. They barely notice me when I'm home. Gee, the poor kid. Lucky guy. My uncle smacks me silly if I'm even a couple minutes late. Luckily, he's uh, out of town at the moment, so we're all good. Olive, you got first guard duty by the living room. It's time to party, gentlemen. Yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't like the looks of this. It's like they're stealing our house. Yeah! What'll they do if they find us? They got snacks. The one called Oliver. He seems different. Maybe he can help us. Whoa, I did not see you behind that jeep. Man, direct headshot. Did you see your ring splatter? Hey, fella, where did you come from? Hey, hey, who are you? What are you doing here? Rory, huh? Wow, there's papers in here for like six dogs. There's more of you? Hey, hey, wow. You guys are great. There's papers for a mother dog too. Where's your mom? Hey, Oliver, Jimmy says it's my turn to be on guard duty. Hey, go puppies! Biff, no. Shh. Hey, you guys, there's puppies in here. Biff, no. They're gonna come no in here and they're gonna take them. Be quiet. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Puppies, cool. I'm so excited. I just can't help myself. Puppies, huh? You've been holding out on us all? No, they must have been hiding in the house somewhere. Uh -huh. What's this? Certified pedigree. Pedigree? 
What are these, like the poems from dog school or something? No, pedigree. My mom's poodle has papers like this. It means they're worth a lot of money. Really? Like how much? Like five to six hundred dollars each. Five or six hundred times three, four. That's like over a thousand dollars. Yeah, more like three thousand. Are you kidding? That's enough to keep us in Skittles and video games for 10 years. We just hit the jackpot, gentlemen. Here's the plan. Charlie, put up an ad on Craigslist. Put something on there like uh, golden retriever puppies for sale. All of Pettigree's. We'll, we'll sell together or separately. No, no, he can't do that. Mm. Put in Scooter's cell phone number. He's good on the phone. Hey, Biff, so have some dog food from your house when you get home. And all of you're in charge of the mutts. Keep them fed, take them out when they got to go. Yada, yada. And make sure they stay together. I want them here 24 7. And if they aren't, you're at it again. And you wouldn't want that, would you? No. And why not? Because you guys are the only real family I've got. That's right. We are. Okay, gentlemen, let's call it a night. Tomorrow, everyone comes up with new excuses, and we're back here tomorrow morning for some serious fun. This is gonna be the best Christmas vacation ever! Woo! Yeah! I knew that Jimmy was trouble the minute I set eyes on him. Yeah, what's gonna happen when they put an ad on the internet? You know how everyone loves puppies. We could be sold by like tomorrow. To different people. Rory, what are we gonna do? There's only one thing to do. Somehow we have to get out of here and find mom. But how? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I am totally <laughs> Oh yeah, boom! Oh, man. You're oh, on, man. Come on. So, huh. Come on, I'm I got a baseball bat. I got a baseball bat. Oh. Yeah! yeah. What are you guys doing? Can't get out that way. Come on. Wait a minute. There's only four of you here. Scarf, snoozer, jumper, tinkle. Hello? Hey, Dad. Nothing, just hanging out with some friends. What? Really? Right now? We can go play soccer right now? Got it. Don't move. I'll be right there. Guys, find Rory and then stay. Stay. Where's my backpack? Okay, everybody. Cross your paws. This works. Jimmy, I gotta go home. My dad said he can... Anyway, I gotta go. Don't be long, newbie. You pick us up one of those big boxes of nerds on your way back. Right, but...
Yes, Mr. Ames, I know your house has a new listing and you just put in central air, but the problem is that nobody can see it from the outside. Curb appeal, darling. And that shake shingle roof has got to be a million years old. I really think you should come down to 375. Think about it. Okay, bye. Hey, sweetheart, do you have a nice time with your friends? Yeah, great, where's dad? He had to bike downtown to meet Mr. Garvey at the Ox Lodge. But he just called me. He said we can go to the park to practice soccer kicks. Well, Mr. Garvey called and said he needed his help. Again? Business doesn't stop just because it's the weekend, dear. Look at me. I've got three listings before two. This is like the third time he's flaked out on me. Oliver, he's got work to do. Priorities, dear. Always ask yourself, what are my priorities? But if you want, why don't you go put your bike in the car and I will drop you off at the Elks Lodge on the way to my open house. Then the two of you can do your soccer thing when he's done. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Lee, I'm so glad you called. I've just got a stunning new listing. I think you're gonna love. Come on, sweetie, let's go. Yes, it's got a lovely vintage shake shingle roof. Extremely rare in this neighborhood. I can't wait to show you. have it here by 10 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m. No. Yeah, okay, thanks. Yes, Mr. Garvey. No, 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 that won't be a problem. No, 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 you, you enjoy your golf game. It's my pleasure. Okay, sure, you, you, you too, thanks, bye. Hey, sport? Hey, yourself. Look, Oliver, I'm sorry. I, I know you're upset and I don't blame you. But the Lodge is throwing a big Christmas party for the Santa Rita Boys Club in two days, and nobody's done any planning whatsoever. So Mr. Garvey asked if I could take a few minutes this morning and help him put it together. Help him? What, is he wearing his cloak of invisibility today? Oliver, Mr. Garvey is the president of the bank where I work at. Now, there have been a lot of layoffs lately. I can't afford to be one of them. Our family can't afford it. Understand? Yeah. yeah, okay. But as soon as you're done? As soon as I'm done, we'll go. I promise. Okay? Okay. Oh, yes, Mr. Johnson. No, no, no. I've got uh, Jeremy, Tony, and Ben. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Mr. Hasey. No, no. We would. She can come too. That'd be great. Okay, I'll count you in then. Um, I'm looking at, so far, about 10 kids, 40 adults. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be, I have, where is it, uh, seven tables and about 56 chairs. That should cover it. Okay, thanks so much. Jeff Richman? No, 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 I, I've gotta have it here by 10 a.m. Hello? Oh, hey, see, l listen, listen, Steve, I gotta, I, I gotta call you back. Okay, yeah, you too, bye. Jeff Richman? Hi, um, is this Lisa Wilson? Uh, I, Lisa Wilson, a star, a ye? No, uh, okay. Oh, hi, gracias. Oh, hello, Mr. Garvey. Oh, oh, your wife has more names to add to the list. Okay, yeah, l let me just grab my pen here and, and... Scooter, I don't think you realize how seriously awesome that headshot was. That was so was. sick. It's not awesome, okay? Right through the brain. Can't deny it. Oh, Dude. I Hundred bonus points. <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. Okay, the gate's open. Let's go for it. Oh, oh, oh! No way, doggies. No way you're going out. You guys are my Christmas shopping list. So shoot, back in the yard. Go. Hey guys, wait up! I'm the leader. What if he doesn't? He's not the only one who's good at stuff, you know. I'm second oldest. Yeah, but he's the smartest. He'll think of something. You know what? I think he already has. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Jeff Richman? 
Oh, hello, Mr. Johnson. Um, it appears that you missed your, your mortgage payment again, and we just wanted to give you a reminder. Yes, I'm, I'm aware that we're close to Christmas. I okay. I will. Okay. Bye. Jeff Richmond. Yeah. No, no, no. I've got uh, Jeremy, Tony, and Ben. Perfect. Yeah. You too. <coughs> Jeff Richmond. I'm gonna go get some air. Yeah, um, um, oh sure. It's not a problem. Just just have her fax them over, okay? Rory, what are you how did you get in there? Did you take my books out? Oh man, I've gotta get you back to the house. If Jimmy finds out you're not there, he'll kill me. Alright, come on. Dad, gotta go. Gotta wrap presents. I gotta go wrap presents. Okay, okay. Yeah, bye. Oliver, man, am I glad you're here. The puppies are gone. No, I've got Rory in my backpack and... You mean they're all gone? Yeah, well, I just got back and I can't find them anywhere. And the gate was open. I think they figured out how to open the latch. No. They must have been looking for their mother. Yeah, well, you better find them. When Jimmy and the guys get back, well, you just better find those puppies. Yeah, but how? Who knows where they could be? Uh, I do. I can smell their trail. Follow me. Uh. Rory, no, wait! Come back! Well, can you still smell Mom? I didn't say I smelled her. I said I thought I smelled her. Well, did ya or didn't ya? Hey, I don't see you coming up with any great clues. I knew we shouldn't have left without Rory. Please, stop fighting! We have to find Mom! You got something? I sure do. Food! Wait! I'm hungry too! Guess it's break time. This way, over here! And I hit the jackpot, my friends! Yay! Food! Hey, it's chicken! For real! Kick it! There's plenty here for everybody! Says who? Hey, look! It's barely that chihuahua fought for. Who's gonna stop us, Pipsqueak? You? No. But my amigos are. Oh! Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, fellas. Just what do you think you're doing here? Well, see, we were hungry and Scar smelled something, so we just thought we'd wander over and... And steal our food, huh? Not steal it, really. Uh, just, just sort of uh, nib nibble on a few uh, little pieces. This is our yard. In fact, this whole block is ours. And you know what we do to strange animals who come into our block? <gasps> Eat them? No. First we kill them. Then we eat them. And then we bury their bones. Oh, no! You've eaten a lot of puppies, have you? Hundreds. And I've got the biggest appetite of all. Well then, why don't you wait for the next group of tasty toddlers and we'll just be on our way. Why, you rotten little mutts. Get them. Run, everybody run. Come on, boys. Get them. This way. Let's get out of here. Hurry on. Hurry. Four, ten, 
other little puppies. Yeah, looks like a hearty meal and enough for leftovers. Look again, tough guy. <gasps> it's Rory! Hooray! You better stick to eating garbage, you bullies. And here's something to wash it down with. Uh-oh. Huh? Ay, ay, ay! I hate water. Let's get out of here. And our new friend. Look, you guys, I know why you ran away, but you've got to come back to the house. If Jimmy finds out you're not there, it'll be bad for all of us. But I promise, I'll figure out a way to find your mom. You never made it to the park? No, I got tied up again. He's not here. Um, I haven't seen him, but I just got back myself. Must be out shopping or something. I'm on my way out, too. I've got to go to the Wellmeyer house at 3.30. Oh, Garvey wants me to meet him at the party store at 4. Guess there's some sort of sale on decorations or something. I don't know. OK, don't forget, I need you to go to the mall and order those presents. And then we have dinner with the Hastings at 6. They might be listing their beach house this spring, so we want to keep them happy. Hey, Jess. Or get the feeling that we're, we're moving too fast, you know, like, like we're rushing through things. Like what? I don't know. Christmas, family, life. This is our life, honey. So you gotta do what now? Take the puppies out for some air. You know, around the neighborhood? There's plenty of air in the backyard. And you can clean up their poop while you're at it. But I put a for sale sign on their wagon. People see how cute they are and they might want to buy them. Not a bad idea. But they gotta come back here to pay me. I don't want you taking any five-finger discounts. Yes, sir. All right, you guys, I'm gonna take you down to where all the animal shelters are. We'll ask everybody we see. And if you pick up your mom's scent, start barking. Hey, this is kinda cool. Hey, wait a minute, I got shotgun. Move over, somebody's stepping on my tail. Whee! Oh, don't say that word. It just makes me want to. Oh, no, oh, no, no take go off. off. Time to believe something good can happen. Hold my hand and you will see. Come and stand by me. If we are together, my friend, nothing seems to be so hard. You can count on me. You are in my heart. You will find a home right here with me. Anybody smell mom yet? Oh, I can smell your stinky butt. Move over. Snoozer, uh, are you sleeping? It's comfy down here. He can sleep anywhere. Remember when he fell asleep on mom's head? Yeah, that was great. She woke up, sneezed, and almost blew him into the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. something. It's mom. That's her smell. Really? Really? Oliver, stop here. 
This is the place. As a matter of fact, we got a for sure female golden in here yesterday. She's at the vet right now getting her shots. That's mom. I knew she was here. And she's available to be adopted? Absolutely. Oh, we'd love to place her in a good home by Christmas. That's great. When can I have her? Well, she'd be ready by tomorrow morning. All I need is your parents' permission and $200 adoption fee. My parents? $200? Yes, that's right, dear. That's how we take care of all these animals. That won't be a problem, will it? No, no, of course not. Just take my phone number and call me as soon as she's available. You got it, kid. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come on. Come to Mama. Look, you guys, we'll get her back. Somehow I'll find a way to come up with that $200. I don't know how, but I will. I promise. Come on, you guys, let's get back inside. He's back. All right, you guys, the place is showtime. And he needs money for something, 200 bucks. That's good, right? That's great, we can use that. Switch. Okay, cry, baby, cry. Not like that, you idiot. Real tears. It hurt. <laughs> Better. And everybody else act really sad will smack you too. Hey guys, no sales yet, but a lot of people really. What's wrong with him? <laughs> Give me your talent. I just can't. It's such a bummer. Here, sit down. So, it's almost Christmas, right? Right, in two days. And you know how much Charlie loves his mom. Actually, I didn't think Charlie and his mom got along that well. He always says how she's... I love my mom, man. I love her so much. Ah! So, Charlie loves his mom, okay? And he's been saving up to buy her a really nice Christmas present for weeks and weeks. Months and months. For years. Years and years. Okay, whatever. So, finally he's got enough money, and this morning he walks down the gold marsh to buy her a necklace. A really nice necklace. Pearls. A pearl necklace. I just love her so much! Cut it out! So, he goes in the store, and just as he gets to the counter, he sees Timmy Geetson, and Timmy's stealing the necklace. What? Yeah. Just takes it off the display, puts it in his pocket, and walks out of the store. And nobody saw him. Except me. So we've got to tell Timmy's parents or the police. No, 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 no way. we can't do that. Because, because, because um, the police are in on it. The police are in on it? What he means is the police are onto Timmy. See, I guess he's done this sort of thing before, you know, stealing. But Timmy's almost an Eagle Scout. That's just to cover, just to cover for his stealing thing. I did not know that. Well, it's true. And you know, we all like Timmy. We don't want to see him get in trouble or anything with the cops. Because it's Christmas and all. Yeah, so we figured the best thing to do was if we got it back and then took it back to the store. And that's where you come in. Me? Yeah. See, the whole family's going Christmas shopping tomorrow. There won't be anyone home. And you? You're just skinny enough to squeeze through their window. They always got one open in the back. I don't know. Look, it'll be easy. We'll all be the lookouts. Anybody comes, we'll make sure you get away. And there's one more thing. There is. The money? $200? Oh, um, the uh, jewelry store is offering a reward to get the necklace. $200. And we figured since uh, you're the one doing the stealing, I mean, actually getting the necklace back, you should get the money. 200 bucks, all for you. Really? You have to do it all. Good try.
for Charlie's mom. Yeah. For my mom. And for Timmy, so he doesn't get in any more trouble. Because it's Christmas, you know? Please, Oliver. Please. You have to do it. Do it for mom. All right, ghosts. Oh, 10 hundred hours. Timmy's family should just be leaving. Are you sure this is going to be OK? Look, you'll be in and out in no time. And you'll be $200 richer. OK, gentlemen, let's roll. Roar, get in here. They're gone. We can open the gate again and go see Mom. No, we can't. What? Why not? Because I heard Jimmy talking to Charlie. That story about the necklace, they made it all up. I thought it sounded kind of fishy. That kid Timmy didn't steal the necklace. He bought it for his mom for Christmas. And now they're tricking Oliver into stealing it from Timmy. For real. Oh, no. What about... How's Oliver going to get the money to get her back? Look, we'll find a way to get Mom back. But we can't do it like this. It's stealing, and Oliver could get in big, big trouble. We've got to stop them. But how? That's it. Looks like they're already gone. Okay, here's the plan. Charlie, you watch this street. Vic, you get that back street. Scoot and all of you come with me. Hey, uh, what kind of car they got, Charles? Nissan, silver. All right, you see a uh, silver Nissan coming? Make like an owl. Who, who? Who? Yeah, who? No, who? Who, who's? What? Not what, who? Just make a sound, moron. How? Charlie, where's the necklace? Timmy's dad put it, I mean, Timmy put it, in the guest bedroom, bottom drawer in the middle. Got that, Olive? Yeah, bottom drawer in the middle. But I really think we should Stop thinking. That's my job. OK, positions, everybody. Scoot and Olive, let's move out. There they go. Rory, we have to be careful. If Oliver gets caught, we'll never get Mom back. I know, I know. OK, you three wait here. Scarf, you come with me. If there's trouble brewing, you guys bark three times. Got it. Let's go. Man, none of us can jump that high. Not even Jumper. We've got to find another way in. Come on. All oh, right, a doggy door. I think we can make it through. That's not a doggy door, bro. It's too small. That's a door for a cat. Oh, boy. Oh, come on, Scarf. You're not afraid of a stupid cat, are you? No, I'm not afraid. I'm... I'm... Achoo! I'm allergic. Oh, brother. Okay, I'll go in alone. You stand guard. If you see the cat, just... Sneeze. Well, I was gonna say bark, but I guess that'll have to work. Cats make lousy watchdogs. What was that? Got it. 
Now, if there's trouble, we can prove that all did the stage. Why, those no good creeps. He's in. Yeah, but we got trouble. They came back early. We got one over. What are you doing, idiot? But the Gwen to catch him. That's his problem now. You want us to get caught too? We gotta save our own skin. Get out of here. Those lousy kids, they're deserting Oliver. He's gonna get caught. We have to do something. Leave it to me. Snooze, what are you doing? They're gonna see you. That's the idea. I can't believe they were out of tinsel already. Yeah, how would they finish the tree? I guess it'll have to be an old-fashioned Christmas. Popcorn and cranberry trim like Grandpa and Grandma used to make? I'll get the popcorn started. They're going inside. We've got to stop them. Come on. Guys, what were you doing in there? Hey, hey, Rory, what did you do with that necklace? <laughs> what happened here? Looks like a tornado hit this place. Who could have done this? Fluffy? <laughs> What? Do bees make my butt look fat? Biff, we've got to get out of this game. I know. I was thinking the same thing. We could get in really big trouble. And it's Christmas. I want to be home with my family. Not hanging out with a bunch of juvenile delinquents. I've got to get the puppies back with their mom. I think they really miss her. Shh, you guys. Take the puppies back in. Tell Jimmy they got away, but you found them up the street. And tell them I got away, but I had to go home. I'm going to see if my parents will help us. If they'll stop long enough to listen to me. You got it. I'll meet you back here at 9 tonight. We'll sneak the puppies out, and then we'll take off and never see these jerks again. Okay, but don't be too long, Oliver. I don't want to be stuck with these guys anymore. You want what for Christmas? 
Christmas? A dog. But you, you told your father you wanted a soccer goal for the backyard. I changed my mind. I want a dog, a golden retriever. I've already got her all picked out. What? Where? Belle's Animal Rescue. And I want to get her before Christmas, today. So she can spend Christmas Eve with us. Um, that would be a very big change around here. We've never So we need $200 for the adoption fee. So we can pick her up right now. Oliver, what has gotten into you? And who is going to take care of a dog? You're never around now as it is. I'm never home because you're never home. You or dad. You're always talking on the phone or going somewhere. We are trying to make a living for our family, for you, so we can have a nice home and nice things and- I don't care about any of that. I want to spend time with you and dad, and since that's never going to happen, I want a dog, now. This is silly. And one more thing. We have to take her puppies too, five of them. Oliver, this is ridiculous. I want you to go upstairs to your room right now and wait for your father to get home so we can talk about this disturbing behavior of yours. No, I'm not going to my room. I'm leaving. To find people who actually care about what I want. And I'm not coming back. Ever. Hey, Sakura, what's going on? And you. I don't even know why you bother to come home at all. Listen, there's something I have to tell you. Forget it. I guess I can't count on you either. Just stay here and keep quiet or leave. I don't even care. Oliver, no, wait! News, where are you guys? Where'd they go? Wouldn't you like to know a little sneak? This is the kid you're talking about? Hey guys, it's Olive. Olive, congratulations, you made it. Sorry we had to split today, but the cops showed up. They were everywhere. I think they had a SWAT team. Who is this? Oh yeah, Olive, meet my uncle. Your uncle? Frankie Fagan. You sure we can trust him? He's sneaking around the garage looking for them. What are they doing in there? They tried to run away. Or somebody let them run away. I found this one hanging around out back. I tried to take off, but it didn't run so fast. Not fast enough for a Ralphie No-Toes. Ralphie No-Toes? I chopped him off to get out of work detail. You got a problem with that? No, sir. No. OK, boys. Jimmy filled me in on your little operation here. <laughs> I like it. But I got, I got bigger ideas for you. Much bigger. So you're going to call your parents. Tell them you're staying the night at a friend's house. Tomorrow morning, I'll tell you all about it. And when you're done with the call, hand over your cell phone so I don't want nobody calling the girlfriends or <laughs> cops, whatever. And cover up these mutts so they go to sleep. They got a big day tomorrow, too. What does he mean? Some guy called about the ad. He's buying golden retrievers to start a fur farm in China. I guess dog skin coats are pretty big over there. He wants all the puppies. When I snap, I get my jacket. When I snap, I get my jacket. No, it's fine, Oliver. You can stay at your friend's house tonight. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We have the Elks Lodge party at 1 o'clock. I need you home no later than noon. He says he's staying over at a friend's house tonight named Rory. Do you know who that is? No, I do. 
don't. I don't either. I don't know what's gotten into him lately. It's almost Christmas, he's never home, and all this crazy talk about getting a dog. Maybe he's right. What? About getting a dog? No, no, no. About us. We really don't spend time together as a family anymore, and we haven't for a long time. Jeff, I mean, we've got a lot of financial obligations. I know. We've got the club memberships, the cars, this house. In this economy, we have to work twice as hard just to meet our expenses. Then maybe we need to cut back on our expenses and start focusing on some of the things that money can't buy. Low cal boys club to wreck you, race. Wreck every. <clears throat> Read this, will you? I uh, left my uh, reading glasses upstairs. Uh, well, I got some soap in my eye in the shower this morning. Here, Jimmy, you read it. <clears throat> Harold Garvey, president of Santa Rita City Bank announced today that the bank will make a major donation to the Santa Rita Boys Club this holiday season, $10,000 in cash. The money will be presented at a party the bank is throwing for the club on Christmas Eve. Boys Club founder Roy Williams, who dresses as Santa every year to pass out presents to the community, will accept the money on behalf of the club. you little squirmers like to make some real money. You want to get them into that boys club, Frankie? No. We're going to become the boys club. Well, how are you going to get those other kids to quit? Just shut up, moron. We're going to go to this little shindig instead of these guys. You, you're going to be dressed as Santa, just like the old man here with the hat and the beard and everything. <laughs> They're never going to know the difference. I got to be Santa? Yeah, I'm gonna be your helper. Hey, that's a new one. You helping me. Shut up. It's pretend. We're gonna kidnap the real boys club. Kidnapped? You guys, you're gonna be dressed as little elves. There's costumes in the box over here. We're gonna waltz into the bank, enjoy their little party. They're gonna hand over the moolah, and then Ralph and I, Skip town. <clears throat> After, you know, of course, you guys get your cut. Christmas Eve? That's today. That's right. Because I didn't want to give any of you little buggers a chance to back out. Because if you warn anybody or do anything to mess this up, Jimmy here knows where you live. Don't you, Jimmy? Yes, sir. And I'm sure it'd be a horrible holiday came home for Christmas and your parents were gone forever. All right. The costumes, get to work, put those on. That's the guy, the dogs. I'm gonna get the money. Get the little fur bags ready, don't move. What? Did you do this, Olive? They deserve to be with their mother, and that's where they're going, where no one will find them. Oh, yeah? You see this picture? This picture's going straight to the cops if you don't get those dogs back. Once we pull off this robbery, we've got 24 hours. Now get to work. He's in trouble, just like I thought. Jimmy's gonna show that picture to the police if we don't come back. Oh, we can't do that. We go in there and Jimmy and his uncle will sell us. To some guy in China. What do we do? I say we go find Mom. We know where she lives now. There's nothing we can do for Oliver. No, Oliver tried to help us. We can't desert him. I'm with Rory. We can't let him get arrested. And I'm with Jumper. 
He's a great kid, but it's too late. We gotta save ourselves. Two for and two against. Looks like the final vote is up to you, Tinkle. Oh, no. I hate it when I'm the one that has to decide. It just makes me have to. No, no, no. Wait, Tinkle, no, no, wait, don't, don't. Let's go, let's go, come on. What? It was on sale. This thing itches. How come you ain't dressed like Santa's helper yet? I think I'm gonna go around town looking like an idiot. But then how come I gotta get in the van? That stupid kid's phone's been ringing all morning. I'm ready to toss it in the street. Wait a minute. Hello? Hello, this is Mildred Bell at the Animal Rescue. Is Oliver Richmond there? This is his old man. What can I do for you? Would you tell him that the female golden retriever he asked about was adopted this morning? I'm terribly sorry, but the man who wanted her was very insistent. No. Yeah, no problem. Hey, listen, you get any puppies in this morning? Golden puppies? We had a bunch run away. We thought maybe they'd show up there. No, sorry, no puppies. But we do have some sweet older dogs who would love a good home for Christmas. Well, looks like the mutts are gone for good. No big deal. We got bigger fish to fry. Ready, Mr. Garvey. The boys' club should be here any minute. Don't look so worried, Richmond. Look at all this. You've done a great job. It, it's not about the party, sir. I, I've just got some um, family stuff on my mind. Well, your family should be proud of you. I think this is going to be the best Christmas party we've ever thrown. Have you seen this tree? Isn't oh. that the cu cutest tree? Yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> it's a great tree. It's yeah. Boys Club band should be pulling down the street from that way. We're gonna get out here and cut them off. You pull around the side and wait. Got it? Pull around and wait. Hey, what do you think? I'm a complete idiot? I refuse to answer that on the grounds that it might infuriate me. You two, let's go. Let's go! Santa, aces. <laughs> we got a special entrance for you over there. Are you sure you don't want me to pull around front with the boys? No. No, no, a lot of crazy drivers out there. I mean, one guy jumps the curb and bluey! <laughs> no more boys club. Just use that entrance, huh? Oh, whatever you say. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Kids, keep your mouth shut and play along. Let's roll. Tip, he says ho, ho, ho a lot.
up there, we have the uh, Decorate Your Parents contest, which kids just love. <laughs> and of course, we've got presents here for all your boys. Ho, ho, ho! Ho! Oliver, you've got to tell your dad. As soon as Frankie gets his hand on that money, it's all over. I know, but we've got to wait till he actually takes it. And then they'll lock him up for good. We're gonna need help. But I just don't... Did that present just move? Yeah. What are you doing here? What are you guys doing here? Don't worry, Oliver. We've got it all under control. We thought we'd let the kids play a little longer, and then we've got a meal plan. Ho, ho, when do we get the cash? I'm sorry? The money, the moolah, the stash. I think what uh, Santa, Doug Ralphie, Mr. Williams is trying to say is that if the boys could see the donation first, then, then they'd really want to celebrate. Oh, well, OK. Um, I guess we could make the presentation now. Um, Jeff, would you get their gift? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure thing. No. He didn't come home. He still hasn't answered the phone. Uh, it's gonna be okay, sweetie, all right? He's a smart kid. He'll stay out of trouble. He just needs to take a little bit of time and calm down and forgive us, I guess. Did you pick up the Christmas present? Yeah, I put everything in back. Right now, all I want for Christmas is for Simon and I. It's gonna be okay. Please, everyone, come on up. Please come up where you can see. Wonderful. Welcome, everybody. What a great day it is. A great day for the bank, a great day for the Elks Club, and especially a great day for the Santa Rita Boys Club. We're delighted that you all are here today, and we're especially delighted to see Mr. Williams, who we don't get to see very often. And so, in recognition of all the great work they do in the community every year, it is our pleasure to present the Santa Rita Boys Club with the largest donation, $10,000 in cash. You ready, Jump? You think you can do it? This one's for Mom, Rory. And Oliver. I 
give it up. You've got nowhere else to go. <laughs> That's what you think. There's no way out of there. He's trapped. Dead. Oliver? Are you a part of all this? No, it's a long story. But you did great. Now we just gotta find... Oh, no. Back up! Get away from that door! This dog dies. It's the puppy's mother. What's she doing here? I bought her for you this morning. She was gonna be your Christmas present, Oliver. Clear away from that door! I'm taking the money. I'm taking this dog with me. Stay here, Dad. Oliver, no. Appreciate the swell party. Had a real ball. A real... I'd just like to say Christmas has always been my favorite holiday. Ho, ho. Ho. Mom! Oh, oh, Mom. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we knocked over a Christmas tree. tree. So good. We had a delicious. Oh, so good. We missed you. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Amazing job. Oliver, where did you learn to kick like that? Well, my dad was a starting forward at UCLA, so... Ah, so he taught you all his best moves, huh? <laughs> well... No. No, he didn't. Um, Oliver taught himself because his father was too busy. And starting right now, that's about to change. Um, Mr. Garvey... Uh, you're a good boss, and you, you pay me a lot of money, but um, there are some things that are more important than money, and no matter how much you have of it, it can't buy you more time with your family. And um, I think it's, it's time that I, uh, I found a new job. You're right, Jeff. It is. All right, then. Well, I'll, I'll clean out my desk tomorrow. That's a good idea. Because Monday, you're going to move into the executive suite with me. The bank is starting a new forbearance program. It's a, a program where we're helping struggling families stay in their homes. And I want you to run it for me. <laughs> that, that would be uh, in incredible. There's just one catch. Sir, if it means that I have to work uh, nights and weekends, I, I can't do it to my family. The forbearance department closes at 5 every day. And if you're not out the office by 5.01, you're fired. Okay. <laughs> does that give you enough time to get back on that soccer field? Yes. Yes, it <laughs> most certainly does. All right, then. Thank you so much. Good. Now go enjoy this wonderful party you put together. And Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you, too, Mr. Grover. Some other things are going to change around here, too, Oliver. How would you feel if we moved? We'll still stay in the same area. We'll stay in Santa Rita, but a little bit smaller house. I don't care what size house we have. Just as long as I can be with you, me, and Dad. Okay. And Lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lady would be a wonderful addition to our home. And her puppies. <laughs> All of, all of them? Yeah, Mom. We've kind of been through a lot together. It's a package deal. Hey, the more the merrier, huh? Way, 
full scale too. Hey, you want to play like a pro, you got to practice like one. And, and it's portable too, so we can take it to the park or wherever you want. Maybe we can invite Biff. I think he'd make a really great goalie. I don't know, the way you're kicking these days, you'd have to be pretty good. <laughs> I'm getting better. Yeah, I know you are. We're going we're gonna to practice with this a lot. Look, this thing comes up. Children, I'm so proud of you. Not only did you take care of each other, you risked your lives to save your human friends too. Especially you, Rory. When I said you were the leader before, it was just because you were the oldest. Now you've earned it. All's well that ends well, huh, Roar? <laughs> well, kind of. Kind of? What do you mean? We got Mom back. A cozy place to live. Lots of snacks. And everybody wants to give us puppy rubs. How could it get any better than this? Because you and me, we got unfinished business. Unfinished business? What? Not what. It. Remember? Dog tag? You were it, and you still are! What? No way! Just try to catch me! Uh, you're gonna get it! You're gonna get it! You thought I was gonna miss on! Hey, get away from me! Come on! You come on, catch me! Catch me! 